I just uh, failed to ask the lady about this here, what you see here. Yeah, you see the beautiful trees that are just massacred like this. And then you see like a lot of little homes everywhere popping up. Uh, this already was done in 2015 with the possibility of even 2013. There is a possibility, there is such possibility. Um, this is how Donald Trump does business. And Donald Trump was here, I know, not only very much I know because of what I meet people. The lady I have just spoken with, whose husband worked in Hungary, and so on and so forth, they knew Donald Trump very well, very close. Every time we came here, this is whom we would interact somehow. She would always come across. But this is where she got pissed off, and I th that's why I say that this probably was done, maybe even in 2013, this stuff here. This is where she no longer could tolerate him because of this. This was done literally to depress people. You know, you have a beautiful pools over there that people would meet their spouses. These pools, I was sure they closed them in 2003 already. The truth is they closed them before 2000, the guy told me. I missed the information about that. People recognize me from the talk that you hear, you can hear that. And I have recognized quite a few facts. Like, let's say about the guy over there that has like a little, actually, house over there from which he's directing the train traffic. Train traffic. Um, first, what he instructed him to do because people already were unhappy about these pools like this. Um, he gave him an idea to cut the tops of the trees. This is a Donald Trump environmentalist. By the way, this is filmed on August the 30, 2020. And just about maybe... I don't know, maybe... Uh, just a few kilometers from Czech border from here. This is the city whoopki right there and then it's a check border um, maybe you're talking about three kilometers four kilometers maybe something like this I don't know maybe five I don't know um, first what you do is you depress the people so it starts to look ugly then what you do is you put the fence around uh, and homes and you make this like exclusive property this is never going to be exclusive property because the lakes area is in, of insufficient size and there is just like enormous 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 capacity for recreation of what you see here you know they could make thousands of lakes like the one you see right there if they wanted to if they would put some energy in, into it so this year, this is a classic idiot, classic Donald Trump environmentalist. I'm just being really sarcastic. And you can see what he instructed men to do, basically, with the trees. So this is sick shit, basically. But that's what's going to be. It's going to be, I can tell you this already today. It's going to be a fence. Uh, and only exclusive members are going to be allowed to come here into this area here if ever he's going to get to that level you now these are like a big dreams uh, um, but a reality usually dictates law here uh, too bad the gentleman i'm talking about is the same age as the gentleman i have spoken with when he had his son with him uh this was his one of the first few people here that would give me a company whenever I would be brought from the US here. So you're talking about 97, 98, 99, and so on. 
once he smelled the money, the two were no longer friends either. Uh, Donald Trump secured this man financing straight through the banks and stuff like this. This is how this guy became wealthy. It wasn't just that he had the money and he just something like this. He, started, he got all kinds of loan basically and so on and so forth. This is how he became wealthy. So he did pay it off to be around me. Uh, it didn't matter what, how, but it did pay it off. Some people eventually got wealthy like this. Eventually, yeah, people are going to say, why do we even have this stuff here? Let's just allow them to put homes.